right, yeah. All right, so it's live. So listen, so I'm going to do my best to keep this as brief as possible. Uh, but um, whew, this is like, I just, it's like I've been just with everything going on and um, and it could be just like everything in life, whatever, like everything with um, uh, what's happening in politics, what's happening in sports, whatever it is. Like, there's just a lot of stuff going on and hey, everybody for joining, but um, it's like, I've been bubbling. It's like, I really wanted to stay away from, uh, social media. I've been a little bit of a lurker, like watching conversations and, and my, my heart is hurting. A, my heart is hurting a little bit because I just really see a, a, the, the divide that's happening and it's, it's unfortunate. So, you know, as I'm thinking about this and I was thinking about doing a live and I was like, eh, so I'm in the park here and I'm, I'm reviewing, uh, I'm looking at this book or I, I, re I just finished reading this book, Mastery of the Master of Self by Dom, Dom Miguel Ruiz Jr. And um, I, I was fascinated because like recently, instead of just like plowing through a book, I like, I, I like to study it. So one of the things I'm examining something in my life, a situation that's uh, that's 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 heavy on me. So I was rereading this chapter about managing conflict and, and avoiding or spotting triggers. And I was like, shit, man, this is great because there are three questions that I felt were really powerful that um, that I was like, wow, man, this is this is helping me really see the situation and learn something about myself. So I figured I'm going to share them with you because if there's an opportunity, if there's a situation where, you know, maybe a friend or family says something that triggers you and it could be anything. It could be something around like what's happening in 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 in, in just life doesn't matter what it is like if there's a conflict that comes up here's a way to use that to, to leverage that conflict as a way to learn something about yourself so you can know yourself and to thine own self be true because once you know yourself if the, listen if this is all projection that we see out here then these are opportunities or these challenges or situations that we come across or these emotions that we come across these are opportunities for us to learn about ourselves and grow um, as sticky and as uncomfortable as much as it sucks it is an opportunity so here's one of the situations or here are three questions when a conflict comes up First, acknowledge the emotion that comes up around it. Like it could be like, I'm pissed, I'm happy, whatever it is. Acknowledge the emotion. Just acknowledge it. Like, okay, this came up. First question to come up, and I'm going to read from this because I don't want to mess this up, is first of all, what is that emotion showing you? So if someone says something, whether it's on social media or says something on the holidays or like maybe like they said something to you if you're a Giants fan and, and the, they lost to the Eagles, I don't care what it is. But if they said something to you and it triggered you, what is that emotion showing you? What's the emotion? What is it showing you? So if it's like I'm freaking pissed off right now that the Giants lost to a field goal. OK, I'm pissed off. I'm pissed off that, you know what, I don't know what my situation with my third kid is going to look like. I'm pissed off because, you know what, I want things to look a certain way and they don't. Rah! Boo! So, what is that emotion showing me? It's showing me that I'm pissed off because of some attachment or some domestication of an expectation that I have around a situation. Yes, that emotion, and it could be fear, which leads me to the next question. What are the fear? What's the fear that the action or words of another are activating within you? Oh, this one got me. What's the fear? So when I really looked at it from my personal situation, the fear is that, like, I don't know what the heck is going to happen and I don't know if I can provide. And in a situation like if I read something on Facebook, like, you know what the fear is? The fear is that some people are just never going to fucking get it, that this there's different perspectives on situations and we can respect and live with them all. That's a fear of mine. And as you uh, from that curse and a little bit of that adrenaline, you can tell this shit it still gets me. But reality, there's a fear behind it. So when we get to seeing a conflict, we acknowledge what the emotion is behind it. Then the second part, what is the fear that's being activated in you from these person's words or triggers? Because it's a fear beyond there. Now, the beautiful thing about that is that fear, we can start to go be underneath it. And now we have a place to start discussing. A fear could be like, you know what? I fear that it's from a veteran. Maybe a veteran could feel like, you know what? people's kneeling down like I fear that everything that I did was for fucking nothing so 
that could be how a veteran thinks. And that may be why a veteran may be pissed that someone's kneeling. Someone that's kneeling is like, I'm freaking like, you know what the fear is? I'm fearful that like no one's going to pay attention, that more black men and women are going to get killed and no one's going to be accountable for it. And I could be next. Fears, man, they're real. We don't talk about them. And that's the shit that keeps us freaking separate. Now, the third question is, what am I trying to control in this situation? And why? Now, in my life situation, I'm trying to control an outcome. As much as I say I'm free flowing, I am not. I am a control freak. I try to control a situation because my analytical mind will try to predict a, a, an outcome. And that is suffering for me. Okay, but when I look at this, like when I'm in a conflict, what am I trying to control? I'm try and when I really look at the brass tacks of it, I'm trying to control another person's thoughts. I'm trying to control your thoughts. Like, you know what? If you don't get it, why don't you get it? Why don't you get it? I told you 10 times, didn't I? You don't get it because of this. Guess what? They're not going to get it because of their attachments, domestications, other things that you may not even understand. Okay, I think I'm back on. Yeah, that you're not going to understand until we have conversations. Okay? These three questions to ask yourself amidst a conflict are powerful in itself. Now imagine if you get courageous and vulnerable enough to be like, hey, you know what? What you said, instead of like going back and forth on like a text or email, blah, 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 picking up the phone and be like, hey, you know what you said? Really, it just triggered me on something. Man. I want to talk to you about it because I love you. And, you know, I just want to hear your point of view. All right. I want to hear your point of view. And like, here's what came up. I had to ask myself these two questions. Have a freaking conversation, man. Because like I'm telling you right now, all this bickering and beefing and stuff, it's making me sick. And I know I'm not the only one. We're sitting here divided on some things when really, when you look at the disasters that happen, look how we came together. Look how we came together. Like, look, I'm out here in nature, man. Nature, if there were it, some of the messages I feel nature give us is that with all this conflict, this is our opportunity to learn how we can work together amidst all these things. Pay attention, man. Like, there's bigger stuff going on, and this is just some little stuff that we're getting distracted by. Come together, folks. That's all I'm going to have to say for today. Three questions again to wrap this up. What is the emotion here to show you when you're in a conflict? Okay, what emotion is coming up? Second question, what fears are being activated by the words or actions of another? And then the third question, what am I trying to control and why? Be well, people. Much love. Love each other. It's a good look. Peace.